Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Ting from UC Berkeley. Today, I would like to talk about the latest research work from our group, the hybrid and the resonance switch capacitors converters for the 40 volts data center power delivery. And in this talk, uh, I will briefly introduce the background and the motivation first. We will take an overview of the 40 volts data center intermediate bus converter. Then I will introduce two new converter topologies that can achieve different power conversion ratios, either uh, 4 to 1 or 8 to 1. So here I'm showing a typical data center power delivery system. So from the high AC voltage side, grid to a very low DC voltage point of load. So to address the high step down ratio from the 40 volts to point of load, so we usually adopt a two-stage approach. And uh, in this work, we focused on the first stage intermediate bus converter from the 40 volts to uh, an intermediate bus voltage, which is usually ranging from 12 volts to 6 volts. So one approach to implement the IBC is to use the transformer-based converters. So this solution can offer high current handling capability and high power density. So here I'm showing two leading designs. One is from the CPS, uh, the LLC converter. It can offer the very high output current and the high peak efficiency, and the power density is also good. So another example is the highly integrated vehicle design, as shown on the right-hand side. So it has good peak efficiency and uh, uh, very, yeah, very high uh, power density, which is around uh, 4,000 watts per cubic inch. So here, another approach to implement, implement the, I the IBC is to use the hybrid switch capacitor converters. So this converter can have a significant benefit of the reduced mag magnetic size. And here, we can compare several uh, SC converter topologies in the left side. So, so here we compare the normalized passive volume versus the normalized switch stress to visualize the trade-off between the, power, the loss and the, and the size. So as you can see from the graph, the cascaded resin converter has the good balance between the passive and active component, component utilization. And the schematic is shown on the right-hand side. So it has a simple structure and uh, it has a, the, each stage can be easily modulized. So the prototype made by our group can achieve 99% peak efficiency and 2.5 kilowatts per cubic inch power density. So this work has been uh, presented in last OCP summit. So to further improve the power level, so the second stage of this converter can have two phases in parallel to double the output current. And the first stage can be simplified to only two switches. So the total conversion ratio is also 4 to 1. And uh, this converter utilizes a spe special multi-resonant mechanism. So you can see the resin we formed on the right-hand side. So it has a multi-resonant current waveforms, and uh, the duty ratio is lower than 0.5 to accommodate this multi-resonance. And a distinctive feature of this uh, converter is that it has a low inductor for the first stage and there is no middle capacitor between the first stage and the second stage. So both of them are very beneficial for the power density. So let's look at the performance of this 40 volts to 12 volts cascade multi resin converter. So in this work, we use a custom one-term power inductors. And uh, here you can see the maximum current can reach 80 ampere, and the power density is uh, 6 kilowatts per cubic inch. The peak efficiency is 99%. And the full load efficiency is 97.7%. Per so we can compare this converter with the state-of-art 4 to 1 converters in the top right corner. So as you can see, it has a 30% lower loss uh, compared with the Vico design and the 70% smaller size compared with the GAN-based LSC converter. So another trend of the 48 volts power architecture is to reduce the intermediate bus voltage. Because the efficiency of the second stage bus converter is strongly dependent on its input voltage, as shown in this table. So it indicates that a lower intermediate bus voltage may be better for the better overall efficiency. So it requires the high performance bus converters 
with a higher conversion ratio, for example, the 6 to 1 or 8 to 1. So therefore, our group has investigated uh, some other converter topologies that can achieve higher conversion ratio. So here I'm showing an example of the 8 to 1 cusp converter. So the schematic is shown on the left side. So it can be viewed as a 2 to 1 stage cascaded with another 4 to 1 service parallel stage to implement a total 8 to 1 conversion ratio. And the waveforms and the corresponding sub-circuits are shown on the right hand side. So it has multiple operating phases. And then this is helpful for reducing the component count. So in practical implementation, we will run this converter slightly higher than the resonance to reduce the output impedance and the conduction loss. So the hardware prototype is shown in this page. So as you can see, it has a very small form factor. So the dimension is a four, about 4 centimeter by 1.3 centimeter. So it can fit the OEM card easily. And the power density reaches 2,140 watts per cubic inch, and the peak efficiency is 98.1%. The maximum current is 17 ampere, and uh, we can compare this work with the state-of-art A21 converters in the top right corner. So it achieves the best power density while having a similar peak efficiency as the LLC converter. Also notice that in this work, we use a discrete MOSFETs and the gate drivers. So in the future, if we use monolithic MOSFETs with the integrated gate drivers, the power density can be further improved. So in summary, uh, we demonstrate that the hybrid and the resonant switch capacitors have a very good power density and efficiency compared with the uh, other, the conventional LC converter and the other uh, hybrid LC converter. And uh, through proper selection of the top topology and the hardware implementation, it can be used as the high performance IBC for the future 40 volt power delivery. And a good candidate, uh, a good target application will be like the OAM card. So at the end, I would like to acknowledge the RPE and NDSEC for supporting this work. And uh, for more details of those converters, please come to our poster uh, outside yeah, after the, this, uh, uh, this presentation. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions, audience? Okay, so it's, it's just <laughs> power electronics. So I can ask a simple question. So um, actually, there, there's some, there's some, um, there could be some disturbance on the 48 volt um, bus in data center in real real case. So yeah. do you have any plan um, to regulate the output voltage um, with your converter, or what would be the solution in this case? Yeah, thank you for the question. Yeah, so that's a yeah good. Uh, question about how to uh, get a very stable voltage at the point of load, right? And uh, usually, so this is a two-stage approach, and uh, we do the regulation at the second stage. And uh, we can use the uh, regulation regulated bar converter at the second stage to do the regulation part. And uh, so far, for the first stage, the intermediate bus converter is only just an open loop, and uh, it is a fixed uh, ratio design, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Have any questions? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.